Hi everyone, nice to see you and equally it's also nice to be seen. So this week we've got another review. Now what is it you may be asking yourself? Now I've been wanting to do this product for quite a while. I've seen a lot of them and I thought yes I'd like to do that one. So what is it you're asking? Here we go. It is Ooh, look at this beauty. It is the Eagle Products 1.5 litre kettle. And has this got a place by our campfire? So, it's in the new campfire kettle for me. We'll find out. Stay tuned. But first, I want to see if... No genies in this one. Maybe steam. Okay, so here we go. So what's it all about then? What do we get for our money? And here we go. So this is a Norwegian luxury kettle and these come in three sizes that I'm aware of. So it's a 0.75 litres, the 1.5 litres and the 4 litres. Now the 4 litre is probably almost equivalent to an American gallon. So just to sort of give it to a little bit of perspective there. So the kettle itself it's looking very nice. It doesn't look like a conventional kettle as such. It looks quite stylish, I think. That's probably one of the reasons why I was drawn to it, because it looked different. So what do we get? So on the outside, you've got the Eagle Products logo, which I don't, I sort of don't imagine it's down there very long, once you start sticking it over the old fire. And it is made from a lovely polished stainless steel. So it's stainless steel, not titanium, not aluminium or aluminium. So which is not, not a bad thing. A more robust, harder wearing, I think, of it stainless steel. And on the top here, obviously, we've got the lid, which is quite spacious. It's quite a big old lid there. And then on the top here, we have three D-rings. Now, I can't really think why you'd have three D-rings on there. Maybe you just, maybe that's to suspend it in a sort of funny way over the fire. But my big, biggest guess, I'm assuming that you could uh, tie your paracord around there, through there, around there and that would secure the lid on to stop losing it in transit. I mean if you've got it on the outside of your rucksack that would work maybe okay so you've got obviously you've got a nice little spout hole there and also which is stating the obvious you've got two lovely little carrying handles and these handles are quite good actually because they move right in and right out there so you can lock them up there. Now this would be good for obviously suspending it over the fire and then when you go to reach for it which we will do we'll try this out over the fire because it's the only way to try a kettle. So, pretty handy in my eyes. So, this one here in the UK, I got off of Ray Mears. That's the only place you can buy it in the UK that I'm aware of. You can buy them abroad, obviously in um, Norway, Sweden, places like that, which obviously is the area that it come from, but they're quite difficult to get hold of. So as far as I'm aware, there's only one retailer in the UK. You could correct me on that if you'd like. So, let's give this a go and see how we get on with it. Okay, don't forget, it's only a kettle. It's only going to be boiling water. No genies coming out of there. But we're going to give it a go anyway. So, without further ado, let's go and give it a go. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the kettle boiling, ready for a brew. So what will I say about it? Yeah, I like it. It's stylish, it's different. It's, uh, yeah, pretty unique, I'd say. And it's very distinguished. I mean, I've seen a lot of pictures of uh, people using these in their bushcraft, so it's, it's become a bit of a symbol. Um, what's really good about this, which I really like, is that you get this lovely little bag. So when you finish with it, and it's all cooled down, you put it in the bag, do that up, and you can stick it in your rucksack without getting any of your soot on your gear. So, I mean, that, that's that's a pretty good thing. So, you know, without further ado, I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of tea. That's actually quite good. The handle's not actually hot, so it's actually still ha a manageable to touch. So, until next time, get out there and do some bushcraft. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Take care now.